Welcome back everyone. So for this segment, I'm gonna be talking about two important things for Alpha OBD. The first one is how to upload your log. So basically to upload your log, I'll have the directions uh, right after this. And that way you can see every single parameter that your truck has and what the current setting is. So it'll tell you, uh, you know, if you have HIDs or halogen, um, you know, basically literally everything about the truck, it's a pretty long list. Um, but it's important to get this log beforehand. So that way, as you make changes to your truck, if anything ever goes wrong uh, later or right after the fact, you'll know exactly what was changed and what was different from the factory. So that way you can kind of try to correct that if you have any issues. Now, so far with the truck, we haven't found anything that can't be changed back. So for example, if you change one of the settings and you don't like it, you should be able to change it back. Um, again, this goes back to having the log to make sure that you know what the settings should be or what they were from the factory. Another note is this is for 2013 to 2018 trucks. And if you have a 2018 truck, um, there is a uh, mod that you have to, to pick up. Um, I'll of course have that link down here in the description. Now, the last thing that's important to know is your settings. Now you do wanna change one at a time. Um, you don't wanna change five things at once and then disconnect from the truck. For some reason, it doesn't seem to always save that. Um, so make one change to your truck, disconnect, go take a break, like three to five minutes, and then come back and uh, try your next thing. So if you change five different settings, it might I'd only save one of them and then you have to backtrack to figure out which ones were not saved. So do yourself a favor, change one setting at a time, wait at least five minutes, um, you know, take a break, whatever, then come back and change the rest of the settings. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more information and how to's coming out for Alpha OBD. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put those down below in the comments. The first thing that you should do is open up Alpha OBD and connect your interface, whether you're using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. From there, you're going to select your vehicle. You're going to then choose body computer. And the last item here, you're going to select your year model. Now, if you follow under two different year models, go ahead and select the one that best fits you or try one. And if it doesn't work, try the next one. Once that happens, you go ahead and hit connect and it will go through and show that it's then connected to your body computer. Then you're going to click on the battery icon and then you will read system ID. Now this will literally show you everything about your vehicle, all the settings, what they're currently set at. Um, so you can go through and scroll through and, and check out and see what settings you have currently set as well as what things you might wanna be changing. From there, you're going to hit tools and then you can either view faults and status log or upload to Google Drive. I usually view faults and status log and then I upload it to Google Drive from there. So I'll open it up in Chrome. Um, once that happens, then it pops up a new window here and then it will ask if I want to download. I'll go ahead and hit download. And there you go. You can see uh, I've got it in there. And from there, I can either share it. Um, basically, I'll upload to Google Drive. Or if you don't want to do any of this, you can just directly upload to Google Drive uh, from that tool screen. Now, of course, it brings you to the screen where you can change the name of it. From the default, it will be body underscore Chrysler underscore info. But you can change this to be whatever it is that you want. From here, you can then open up Google Drive and you can see it directly on your tablet or you can open it up on your computer and see it there. Now, the big thing that's gonna be helpful is you can see what your current settings are and then you can also compare that later when you change things. Now, when you change things in the computer, it automatically save in the log file so you won't have to worry about uh, you know, having to double check that or look at an old one. You just wanna make sure that you're viewing the most uh, recent information in your log file. Click on that and it will open up here and then we can see every single setting uh, that the truck has currently. And that is how you upload your log file. And from here, you can start changing things and uh, you'll have a good record of what you've changed in case you need to change anything back. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more information coming out on Alpha OBD. And of course, if you have any questions, go and put those down below and I might be covering those in future videos.